Do you recognize that tune? It's from a movie. I'll play it for you a little bit later. But first, let's talk a little bit about what this is and um, some music concepts. Oh, welcome to Music Thursday. This segment of our uh, lesson is brought to you by Lysol Wipes. Always remember to sanitize. Now, back to our program. You've heard this sound before on a harp. That's called a glissando. Can you say glissando? I couldn't hear you. Could you say it louder? Thank you. A glissando, if you'll notice, does it sound like it's going higher or lower? Move your hand up if you think it's going up. That's right, the sound is going up. And when the strings are going this direction, you hear the sound going down. That's because low frequencies are made with long strings and high frequencies are made with little strings. This particular harp has 36 strings. Harps come in all shapes and sizes from all around the world. This particular harp is a Celtic lever harp, and uh, Celtic harps come from Ireland. This harp did not come from Ireland. This harp came from Florida because I made it myself. Yes, this is mahogany wood and spruce wood, and it took me a long time to make it. Like I said, this harp has 36 strings. Some of the strings are blue, some of the strings are red, and that helps me know which string I'm playing at a certain time. Um, it's called a lever harp um, because these levers will push the string and make it uh, shorter. When a string goes shorter, what's the sound going to do? Let's find out. All right, so here's a red string. That's the C string. I play it. Go up or down? Listen again. Here's the first time. Open. If you said it went up, you're correct. So when the string goes shorter, the pitch goes higher. And so every time I push on a lever, uh, when I play the song in just a minute, you'll see me um, pushing on a lever, and that uh, changes the key of the string. Now, I know if, uh, what key I'm in because the colors tell me. The C's tell me I'm playing a C note. The F's are blue. Um, let's count up and see how many times, how many strings it takes from one red to the other red. I don't know if you can see, but this is the red string. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's try with our alphabet, starting with C and going to C. Now what happens when we get to G? Is there an H? No, uh, you start over again in A. So this would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. One more time. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. How about backwards? C. B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Yes, work on that. Practice your alphabet forwards and backwards um, up to G and then start again at A. I'm going to uh, play a song for you. This is um, called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it's from the movie The Wizard of Oz. I hope you're enjoying your time at home, and I hope you are listening to music. Oh, by the way, um, 
on the school website, there's a music tab. Please look at the um, at games and activities that are available, and there's some uh, sing-along songs uh, like Frozen 2 and uh, Earth Day songs, so please check those out as well. Thank you. I'll see you next Thursday.